Hi there, this is Prof. Johan from the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Pretoria. Welcome to my series on the introduction to chemical engineering and chemical engineering principles. So as promised, the video on normality. Now maybe the easiest way to understand normality is to look at the relationship between normality and molarity. Now molarity is given to us in gram moles per liter of the solution. Now normality is given to us in gram equivalent per liter of the solution. So we can see from this that we need a relationship between the gram equivalent and the gram mole. We need to convert from the gram mole to the gram equivalent or the other way around. So let's look at exactly what that is. Now this gram mole that we have in molarity is the quantity, the amount, the mass that we have. And as I said, this is typically only for acids and bases. So when we talk about gram mole, this is the gram moles of the acid or the base. So we can get that typically from the molecular mass. So if I would have a kilogram of the acid or the base, or I would have a certain gram mole of the base, I would have that amount in the solution and I know it exactly what it is. So let's look at this acid. So if I have one mole of hydrochloric acid, my concentration would have been one gram mole in the solution, whatever that solution would have been. Now to go from the gram mole to the gram equivalent, I need a relationship between the gram mole and the gram equivalent. And this is how we do it. We know that when we talk acid base, we talk about the neutralization power of these things. Let's split my hydrochloric acid up in H pluses plus Cl minuses because I would typically be adding this to a base and let's say our base is sodium hydroxide. So I would have a neutralization reaction where the sodium reacts with the chloride to form sodium chloride and then water and I have neutralized my component. I don't have an acid or a base anymore. And the gram equivalent is the indication of that species, in this case the hydrochloric acid, of how many moles of protons it's got. And if we were talking about a base, we need to break this up into its species. And I would speak about the OH as the neutralization power for the H plus ion. But what if I had, rather than hydrochloric acid, one mole of sulfuric acid? Then I would have had two moles of H plus ions plus one mole of SO4 ions. If I would have used sodium hydroxide again as my base to neutralize this acid, so let's split this up now as well this time. I would have to use two moles of sodium hydroxide to neutralize one mole of sulfuric acid. This means the sulfuric acid contains two moles of proton per mole of sulfuric acid. Now, what does this have to do with gram equivalence? So in the first case, this one mole that I have is equal to one gram equivalent. There is one H plus in one mole of hydrochloric acid. But when I talk about sulfuric acid, I have two gram equivalents, as there's two moles of H pluses that I have that needs to be neutralized. So there's two gram equivalents for the sulfuric acid. And the same for bases. If I would have used calcium hydroxide, I would have two moles of OHs versus sodium hydroxide, and so forth, and so forth. So this gram equivalent is effectively an indication of the moles that I have and the number of, depending on it's an acid or a base, H plus ions or OH negative ions that is partaking in this reaction. How many protons gets donated or how many protons needs to be neutralized. As an example, let's say we have 30 liters of 6.0 normal NaOH solution. We know that if I have a six normal solution, it means I have six gram equivalents per liter in my solution. This thing breaks up to become Na plus OH negative. And I have for every one of these, I have one of those. So six gram equivalents when I have a six normal solution. If I want to neutralize this 30 liters of solution, I'm going to take my six gram equivalents multiplied with the 30 liters to get 180 gram equivalents. And this is what I must neutralize. 
Let's say I have a six molar sulfuric acid. The first question I need to address is what's the normality of the solution? Now we know that this sulfuric acid will break up into two protons plus the sulfate ion, which means that for every mole of sodium sulfate coming in, I have two moles of protons. So the normality of this is going to be 12 gram equivalents per liter. If I now want to know how much of the solution do I need, I'm going to look at these two values and how this 12 gram equivalent per liter normality sulfuric acid will dissolve the 180 gram equivalents I have, which means I will need 15 liters of the 6 molar sulfuric acid solution to neutralize the 30 liters of 6 normal sodium hydroxide. I hope this example helps you.